ഇൻ എറത്മോജനിക് റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ ഡിസ്പ്ലേസിയ മായക്കാഡിയം ഓഫ് റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ ഫ്രീ വാൾ ഈസ് റീപ്ലേസ് ബൈ ഫൈബ്രോ ഫാറ്റി ടിഷ്യൂ റീജിയണൽ വാൾ മോഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഇസ് എ പ്രൊപ്പൻസിറ്റി ഫോർ വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ എറത്മിയാസ് ഒറിജിനേറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദ റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കൽ സഡൻ കടി അഗ്ഡത്ത് കെ നോക്ക ഇൻ ദ യങ് വിത്ത് എ ആർ വി ഡി ദിസ് ഡിസോർഡർ ഈസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ആറത്മോജനിക് റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ കാർഡിയോമയോപ്പതി പെത്തോളജിക്കൽ ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് എ ആർ വി ഡി നെയ്മ്ലി ദ റീപ്ലേസ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ മയക്കാഡിയം വിത്ത് ഫാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫൈബ്രസ് ടിഷ്യൂ ആൻഡ് അനൂറിസംസ് ആർ സീൻ അറ്റ് റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കുലർ എപ്പെക്സ് ഇൻഫീരിയർ ഓർ ഡയഫ്രമാറ്റിക് ആസ്പെക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഔട്ട്ലോ ട്രാക്റ്റ് ദീസ് റീജൻസ് ടുഗദർ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ദ ട്രയാങ്കിൾ ഓഫ് ഡിസ്പ്ലേസിയ എ ആർ വി ഡി ഈസ് എ ഡിസീസ് ഓഫ് ഡെസ്മോസോമൽ ഡിസ്ഫങ്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ജെനറ്റിക്കലി മീഡിയേറ്റഡ് important mutations are pkp2 dsg2 dsp and dsc2 a rare recessive form is called naxo disease associated with palmoplantar keratoderma and woolly hair the initial report by frank marcus guy fontaine and colleagues had 24 cases 22 patients had recurrent ventricular tachycardia there was a male preponderance with male female ratio of 2.7 is to 1 all but one of the patients had ventricular tachycardia of left bundle branch block morphology t waves are inverted in right precordial leads in most patients two patients without arrhythmia were diagnosed by right and left heart angiography all patients had undergone right ventriculography and six had echocardiography 12 patients had confirmation of findings at surgery and one at autopsy seven patients had incomplete right bundle branch block pattern and one had complete rbbb ventricular post excitation waves or epsilon wave were suspected on the resting ecg in seven patients high amplification and signal average techniques showed ventricular post excitation in 13 of the 16 patients in whom it was performed Initial diagnostic criteria for ARVD were proposed by an international task force in 1994. Important modifications were proposed in 2010 which included quantitative criteria. Both sets of criteria are quite extensive including many parameters. The six domains in which major and minor criteria were proposed are global or regional dysfunction and structural alterations. tissue characterization of wall repolarization abnormalities depolarization or conduction abnormalities arrhythmias and family history global or regional dysfunction can be documented by echocardiography cardiac magnetic resonance imaging or right ventricular angiography main features are right ventricular echinacea dyskinesia or aneurysm formation right ventricular outflow tract measurement of 32 mm or more in parasternal long axis view by echo is a major criterion if present along with the wall motion abnormality corresponding figure in parasternal short axis view is 36 mm or more major criteria on tissue characterization is residual myocytes less than 60% by morphometric analysis with fibrous replacement of right ventricular free wall of myocardium in one or more samples this could be with or without fatty replacement of tissue on endomyocardial biopsy residual myocytes of 60 to 75% will be a minor criteria major repolarization criteria is the presence of inverted t waves in right precordial leads v1 to v3 or beyond in individuals more than 14 years of age in the absence of complete right bundle branch block inverted t waves in the presence of rbbb inverted t waves in v1 and v2 or in v4 to v6 are minor criteria epsilon wave between the end of qrs complex and the onset of t wave in leads v1 to v3 is a major depolarization criteria minor criteria are based on signal averaged ecg parameters which indicate post excitation major arrhythmia criterion is sustained or non sustained ventricular tachycardia 
with left bundle branch block morphology and superior axis. NSVT and sustained VT of RV outflow configuration with LBBB pattern and inferior axis is a minor criterion. More than 500 ventricular ectopics on 24 hour holter is also a minor criterion. In family history, major criteria are confirmed ARVD in a first degree relative by 2010 task force criteria, confirmed ARVD in first degree relative at autopsy or surgery, and identification of a pathogenic mutation in the patient under evaluation. History of ARVD in first degree relative which is not confirmed, premature sudden death before 35 years in first degree relative due to suspected ARVD, and ARVD confirmed in second degree relative pathologically or by 2010 task force criteria are taken as minor criteria. Another set of diagnostic criteria known as Padua criteria has been published in 2020. They mentioned that autopsy investigations, genotype-phenotype correlation studies and contrast MRI have shown that fibrofatty replacement affects both ventricles with left ventricular involvement which may be parallel or exceed right ventricular involvement. Hence a new designation as arrhythmogenic cardiomyopathy has been suggested. In the Padua criteria, left ventricular systolic dysfunction and wall motion abnormalities have been added as minor criteria. Left ventricular late gadolinium enhancement on CMR of certain regions of the free wall and septum have been included as a major criterion. Inverted T waves in left precordial leads in the absence of left bundle branch block is a minor criterion. Low QRS voltage of less than 5 mm in limb leads in the absence of obesity, emphysema or pericardial effusion is another minor criterion. VT and NSVT of RBBB morphology excluding the fascicular pattern have also been included among the minor features in Padua criteria. Family history of genetics criteria have been modified to include the proposed new name arrhythmogenic cardiomyopathy instead of ARVD. First set of references. Third reference. Remaining references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.